So what's next? Or are you continuing to grow the company and join that process? Yeah. So, you know, you said a couple of interesting things and I was in, you know, I'm a member of entrepreneurs organization and I was in um, my forum meeting last week and uh, man, I can, I cannot recommend this enough for any entrepreneurs out there, Jeff. Uh, I'm a better entrepreneur and I'm more successful because of entrepreneurs organization where you yep. meet with other entrepreneurs and share. And the, the one entrepreneur in my group, um, his name is Yossi Hassan just a phenomenal, uh, like really inspirational entrepreneur. And we were talking about uh, the idea of as an entrepreneur or CEO, you sometimes lose passion. Yep. And like you arrive at a place where you're not as excited or passionate about it. And uh, he spoke, uh, he spoke, he spoke of a book um, that I haven't read yet, which I have downloaded, which I'm going to listen to. It's called The Great CEO Within by Matt, um, Matt McCurry. Or Machori, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And he, and he spoke of an exercise that you do as an entrepreneur or anybody in their role, actually, where you look at your calendar and even if you want to print it out and go and highlight green, the things that give you energy, yellow, yes. the things that bore you a bit, and maybe red, the things that absolutely are like an energy mm. vortex. And I just thought that was the most amazing share to do. Because if we are enjoying what we're doing and it's energizing us, it's going to have an impact on the rest of the business. So this is an exercise I'm definitely going to do. And then th what's next? You know, I've been doing this uh, literally full time since 97. And I absolutely love what I do. I, 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 I just, I never ever can do everything on my to-do list. <laughs> There's always more ideas and uh opportunities that we have time in the day and i am balanced i've been balanced since 2007 and i protect that viciously because i know you know that covey's shop in the saw if i if i burn out it has an impact on too many people and it's also me dishonoring my own self-love so what's next we want to build a huge msp in the us and we're doing that through both acquisitive and organic growth mm -hmm. and I am unbelievably excited about that journey and it is uh, a function of timing as well. A lot of the MSP owners in the U S are uh, either in their late forties, late fifties have spent their adult life building this business and they're looking to have a next chapter in their journey and potentially have a liquidity event. So, and it's a market that is ripe for consolidation. There are 30 to 40,000 MSPs in the U S alone. Wow depending what stats you look at. So I've, I'm probably the most excited I've ever been. Uh, what's, so that's what's next for us. We have these very, very bold uh, growth plans. Uh, and what I want to do as we grow, number one, I want to protect the culture as we grow. Because if that goes, good people leave. Yep. And with that, good clients go. And number two, protect the quality of service. Because if we get that wrong, it's the beginning of the end. So those are the two balancing pieces, but really want to build something very significant. It was my birthday on uh, last week, Monday. So I turned 48. Um, I, uh, I, I, I don't ever want to retire. I, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll get fired one day. I could think of lots of reasons why I could have been fired in the past. Uh, but as long <laughs> as the, the business will have me, I'll stay around. <laughs> right. <laughs>